Hello and welcome to our discussion on understanding the cash flows. In this session we will try to understand the free cash flow and also calculate the free cash flow when the balance sheet and income statement and the cash flow statement is given. Free cash flows for the firm is actually a non-gap indicator. In other words, you can find the cash from operation, you can see the cash flow statement on the annual report which will show the cash from operation, cash from financing and cash from investment because this is a mandatory and a statutory requirement as per the accounting standards. But the calculation of free cash flow is not a gap driven requirement. So therefore it is a non-gap indicator. But free cash flows are required, required for, uh, free cash flows are required for valuation exercise, are required for valuation, are required for capital budgeting. So free cash flows is more a managerial requirement rather than a statutory requirement. Free cash flows can be determined from the revenue, can be determined from profit before interest and tax, can also be determined from profit after tax, can be determined from the cash flow from operation 2. In this, we'll start with a profit after tax. In other words, we want to calculate the cash from operation from the profit after tax which is coming from the income statement. So in this question, we have the balance sheet and we have the income statement which shows the profit after tax. And we also have cash from operation. So by using the profit from profit after tax, we would like to derive the free cash flows for the firm. But before we derive it, let us understand what is this free cash flow for the firm. It is actually money generated from the operation after meeting all expenses and the working capital requirement and capex. So therefore, free cash flow for the firm is an adjusted profit, adjusted for the leverage effect that is interest, the non-cash items that is depreciation and amortization, the changes in a working capital and the work capital expenditure. The capital expenditure is the money required to maintain the same level of operation. So CFF is an adjusted PAT. So if we take PAT, we say that add interest, interest into 1 minus T. So therefore, we say it is interest in 2.70 so 2100 add depreciation is a non cash item add r and d as a non cash item is a non cash item add r and d 20000 working capital changes the change in working capital change in working capital. So let us find the working capital. Current assets of the firm is stock plus debtors other than the cash. The current assets in the second year is 52,300. Current liabilities in the first year is a creditor plus the outstanding expenses 16,000 and the second year is also 16,000 so working capital is current asset minus current liability so it is 36 and 17 respectively the change in a working capital is 17 increase in working capital is 19,300 Similarly, we have to make adjustment for the capex. But what is capex? Capex is calculated as capex is equal to capex is equal to the change in the net asset. 
change in the net asset plus the depreciation plus depreciation or amortization if it is an intangible asset. So in this case we have plant and R&D which we are treating as a capital expenditure. So the change in the asset is 19 minus 20 plus depreciation plus depreciation 1000 so no capex during the period. In the same way for R&D 40 uh, minus 0 plus the capex for the uh, the amortization for the period so the capex during the period is 60,000 so less capex 60,000 so if we sum this up we'll get the cash we'll get the cash free cash flows for the firm the free cash flows for the firm is 32,400 32,400 <coughs> now we can find the same free cash flows for the firm by using PBIT PBIT less tax on PBIT PBIT add depreciation and amortization less changes in the working capital and less capex so FCFF if we take PBIT in this question is 70,000 minus COGS minus expenses minus depreciation minus R&D is PBIT less tax and tax is equal to 0 0.30 <coughs> so then depreciation add back depreciation add back R&D the changes in working capital the working capital and the changes in and the capex during the period will give us the free cash flows for the firm which is same so you can find the free cash flows from PAT or you can find free cash flows from PBIT or you can also find free cash flows for the firm from CFO. We got CFO 28,000. In well computing CFO, we already taken the adjustment for R&D, depreciation, working capital changes. What is necessary is to remove the tax shield on the interest. The tax shield on interest is is nine thousand is nine hundred, which is thirty percent on interest, and the corresponding capex, the capex is sixty thousand. So therefore, the free cash flows for the firm is once again thirty two thousand four hundred. So free cash flows is not a statutory number, which you don't see in a cash flow statement. However, it is possible to find free cash flow from the PAT or from PBIT or from CFO. Free cash flows is useful for valuation and capital expenditure decision. Thank you very much.